Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League 2 predictions. Obviously no Premier League or Championship football this week, purely because of the international um, break. Uh, you know, I think it's the Euro 2020 qualifiers for some, friendly for others, but nevertheless there is international. So, as I've just said, no Premier League or Championship football this weekend. But however, the League 1 and 2 does go on. So guys, you know what I do. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is uh, Bradford versus Northampton Town. Bradford losing 2-1 Aqua Alexander. Um, a bit of a devastating result. But, you know, it will happen in football. Um, I don't think that it really comes up to, you know, the home away. I think this week especially was a few shocking results and that's not the only one on my perspective. Um, Northampton down, yet again, this is one of the shocks of the weekend. Uh, Northampton town beating Plymouth Argyle 3-1 at home. And uh, not a lot of us expected that, if we're all honest. But, you know, it does happen. Um, Further good three points for Northampton Town, I do personally think. Can Northampton Down do it for the second week running? I've gone for no, and I've gone for a 3 2 Bradford win for that one. I'm just expecting Bradford to turn up a bit and not go two defeats on the bounce. The next one is Cambridge versus Forest Green. Forest Green losing 2-0 at home to Newport County. Cambridge losing at Port Vale 1-0. Um, now let's talk about this game on a Forest Green perspective. No disrespect to Forest Green, Newport seems to be really turning up the heat. Uh, they just fortunately got knocked out of the League Cup, uh, but they gave it a really good go. As I've said, Newport are a really dangerous uh, team to play in the lower leagues. They always seem to have a good cup run in the process. Um, Cambridge, talk about it from a Cambridge point of view, a uh, little bit disappointing maybe. Do feel free to put your comments down below. But how do you go proceed in the next game? This is how I think it's going to turn out. I've gone for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Carlisle versus Exeter. Exeter winning 1 0 at home to Mansfield. Carlisle beating Scunthorpe at home 1 0. So Carlisle will win. Um, no. You know, surprises results in that one. So I'm just going to give you the result for this one. And I've gone for a 2-1 Exeter win. My next one is Cheltenham Town versus Stevenage. Cheltenham Town losing 1-0 at Crawley. Stevenage 2-2 against Macclesfield at home. Um, let's go talk about this result from a Stevenage point of view and then I'll go back and talk to it from a Cheltenham point of view ever so quickly. Uh, you know, Stevenage at home against Macclesfield, you know, it's probably a respected result, no disrespect to Stevenage. You know, to play someone like Macclesfield at home, it's probably one of them games where you could possibly be looking at no points. But getting a point against Macclesfield... You know, I think that's not a bad result all round. Uh, on the other hand, Cheltenham losing one now at Crawley. Crawley, you know, were one of them places, like, start to really sit really comfortably in League 2 now. Um, don't look like going anywhere fast, but any other wiser. You know, going to Crawley, losing one nil defeat. Would you say that's a respective result? Please refer to put it down in the comments below. Um... But for this one, I've gone for a 3-1 Cheltenham win. My next one is Colchester versus Walsall. Colchester winning 1-0 at Oldham Athletic. 
Walsall losing 3 1 at home to Grimsby Town. Uh, let's go and talk about this Grimsby result quickly. Um, you know, you're losing, you lost 3 1 at home to Grimsby. What do you think of that result? Uh, Carlisle is probably, like mostly, even they were going to win anyway. But for this one, I've gone for a 3 1 Colchester result. The next one is Grimsby Town versus Crew Alexander. Crew Alexander beating Bradford 2 uh, 1. Um, Grimsby Town beating Walsall 3 1. I'll just let you mention that Walsall result. Uh, let's go speak about it from a Grimsby point of view uh, quickly with that one. Uh, Grimsby Town, you're, you know, going up to Walsall, which ain't an easy place to go, you know, let's be all honest. Where do you go with this one? Are you happy with the three points? Do you think you deserve them? Uh, crew, beating Bradford at, at home 2-1. You know, you've got to be happy with them three points considering that Bradford do look like being uh, promotion candidates, but that's a big loss in Bradford's chase for promotion. Um, but for this one, I've gone for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Lake Norian versus Swindon Town. Swindon Town. Beating Morecambe at home 3 1. Lake Norian 1 0 at Salford City. Not a bad result for Lake Norian, um, if I'm all honest. You know, it's probably as expected. I know Salford are strong at home, but, you know, to go to Salford City's uh, ground and get a point, you know, it can't be too bad. Uh, Swindon Town, on the other hand, Beaten Morecambe through one at home, probably expected for that one. Um, but for this game, I've gone for a 3 1 Swindon Town win. My next one is Macclesfield versus Crawley. Just literally spoke about Crawley, uh, you know, not so long ago. Um, beating Cheltenham Town 1 0 at home, I will speak about that on a Crawley perspective in a minute. Uh, Macclesfield 2-2 away to Stevenage. Where do you go with that one? Uh, you know, do you go, we deserve the three points or we were lucky to get a point or, you know, you know, do you feel free to put your comments down below for that uh, result, especially at Macclesfield result. I really am interested to see about Macclesfield result as well uh, from your perspective. Um, Crawley, on the other hand, 1-0 against Cheltenham. Um, at home, more likely expected. But you can never take a result for granted. But for this one, I've gone for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Mansfield versus Scunthorpe. Scunthorpe losing away to Exeter 1-0. Um, Scunthorpe losing at home 1-0 uh, to Carlisle. Uh, you know, let's not be around the bush with this one. I'm just going to give you the result. I've gone for a 2-1 Mansfield win. My next one is Morecambe versus Salford. Angel Song spoke about Salford. 1-0 at... Um, at home to Lake Norian. Morecambe loses 3 1 at Swindon Town. Um, let's go back and talk about Salford because I know Salford are strong at home. But should they got the three points at, at, against Lake Norian? That is one of the questions I want you to answer for me this weekend. Um, you know, this Salford. You know, deserve to go get three points. Do I deserve to go get no points? Do I deserve the point? But for this one, I've gone for a 2-1 Salford win. My next one is Newport County versus Port Vale. Newport County beating Forest Green 
away from home 2 0. Port Vale beating Cambridge United at home 1 0. This is going to be an interesting game from both perspectives, I personally do think. I think where you go to Newport, especially, it's a difficult place to go. Um, but because of the two previous results, I think it's going to be an interesting game all round. But for this one, I've gone for a 3-1 Newport win. My last one for this weekend is Plymouth versus Oldham. Plymouth losing away from home against Northampton Town. Shock of the, uh, big shock of the results the uh, previous weekend. Um, Oldham Town losing at home to Colchester. You know, it's probably expected, but let's go and talk about a Plymouth result ever so quickly. Um, you know, that's got to be a shock result. You know, Plymouth have been up in the table. No disrespect to Northampton down where they are. This has proven a lot of things to not only in League 2 in general, but obviously leads higher up as well. It proves no matter how well you're doing, a shock results can happen. Uh, no matter what team you are. But for this one, I've gone for a 2 0 Plymouth Argyle win. But guys, if you're on the road this weekend, don't forget you you and League One are taking centre stage because there's no Championship or Premier League. Have a safe journey. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.